that's off in the Atlantic. It popped off of the Georgia coast today. What kind of effect is that going to have on our weather over here in the southwestern corner of the state? Well, Cindy, it doesn't look like we're going to have any significant impacts from it, other than perhaps it's going to bump up the rain chances a bit, and you did touch a little bit on that. Uh, it looks like we're going to see the highest rain totals over on the East Coast, but showers and storms will be on the increase as we go into the weekend, especially compared to where we were uh, just the past couple of days with uh, very little rainfall. Computer model forecast tracks taking it to the north and east, taking it to the west. I'm favoring a westerly track because of the Bermuda High that's going to be building in next week that should eventually shove it over into the eastern Gulf. So again, as Cindy mentioned, we're going to see the highest rain totals over on the East Coast here in Southwest Florida, one to three inches. So really overall this weekend, the chances for rain will be going up. We're still going to have plenty of sun for you to get out and do what you need to do, although you still need to take precautions if you're going to be outside in the heat and humidity here for this weekend because it's still going to be very sticky outside. Now rapid development is unlikely. We don't expect this thing to really ramp up and become a hurricane, but we're going to be monitoring it throughout the weekend and then eventually by next week it should move into the eastern Gulf and likely affect parts of the northern Gulf Coast.